Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. What do you do when your vehicle does not start, it does not crank, and there is no sound when you're trying to start it? The first common problem that when you're trying to start your vehicle and it does not crank and there is no sound, most likely, maybe about 80% of the time, is going to be caused by a faulty starter. The quickest way to check if you have a faulty starter or not is number one, you can try getting a hammer, you can use any metal object or you can use a piece of a wooden block and you can try tapping onto the starter. If you tap on the starter and your vehicle starts right up then you know the starter is the issue. If that does not work the next thing you have to do is go to the starter and disconnect the connector that's going over here and the thing you want to do is you want to check power going to the starter. So basically you're going to get a multimeter and set it to voltage and you're going to connect it not on this but to the connector that's going in here and you want someone to crank the engine and you want to check for power that's going to the starter if it's missing power then you know that the starter is not the issue it's going to be something else but if you're getting power then you know almost 100 percent well let's make it more like 90 percent it's going to be a starter issue if you're missing power that's going over here like i said it's not a starter issue most likely the problem is going to be caused by a bad ignition switch maybe a wire issue maybe a connection issue and maybe bad fuses as well in addition you may have bad neutral safety switch maybe you have problems with your gear selector let's just say the cable is misadjusted or stretched or let's just say your whole entire gear assembly is bad for some reason and let's just say your vehicle will not start in park it may start in neutral so that's how you know you may have a a gear selector or neutral safety switch issue or maybe the whole entire gear selector is faulty let's just say if your vehicle does not start in park and let's just say it starts in another gear there's a good chance that gear selector is contributing to that problem the next thing you want to check is that you want to make sure that adequate power is going to this part over here of the starter and basically you should always have battery voltage preferably 12.6 volts minimum maybe 12.5 two volts minimum for the starter to have strong uh, crank and if you check the power going over here and you have no power at all you're gonna have some sort of maybe starter cable starter, starter cable issue that's going from here going straight to the battery terminal so if you're having an issue you want to check the battery terminal on the positive side because that's what's supplying power straight to the starter and that starter cable the red one going from the battery straight to the starter over here it's always going to be live so again you want to make sure that the uh, battery cable the uh, the positive side you want to make sure it's not corroded you want to make sure no cable is broken off or missing basically you want to make sure that everything is intact and lastly you want to make sure that you have good ground the ground i will start right at the battery negative and it goes straight to the uh, ground strap and it goes straight to the engine it goes straight to the frame of the uh, vehicle the chassis and so on so basically any metal component on the vehicle is going to be ground that's also include the engine the engine block the transmission and so on and if you have bad ground well basically it will it will not complete a, a circuit a complete circuit so we're gonna make sure that wherever the starter is mounted to of course obviously to the uh, engine block and if that part is, is extremely rusted and corroded you're gonna have poor ground so basically a bad engine block can also prevent the starter from starting as well and also you want to factor in bad ground strap and uh, the battery negative cable and so on i hope you found this video useful as always thank you for watching and subscribe to top 5 auto repairs